Okay, so it looks totally different this time. Huh. And I didn't have my phone to take a reference picture or do a geotag. This could be the bottom of it. Ew, plastic bottle. I remember seeing that. Okay, so I'm going to try to find my location. I do recommend when you're rock hounding, if there's somewhere you're going to come back for whatever reason. Like for me, I didn't have on good shoes. I had no way to record it. And it's like, how can I do this and not record it? So, um, it's a good idea to make note of some landmarks the best you can. And then, oh gosh, I'm out of breath. Here we go. So that to me looked like basalt. Basalt is host to zeolites. Oh, I did find it. Here we go. So, look at this. Those are all crystals. Blue, white, and gray. So this is going to be fun. Hold on. Alright, so check it out. I brought water. I'm going to try to keep this as still as I can. This one's pretty heavy. So that might not be all crystals, though. They're pretty densely packed in. So check this out. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to spray water. Oh, it looks like soapy water, huh? I didn't know that, but if you take a bottle of water with you in the field, if it's dirty, you can then better see the crystal. So in this case, it's soapy. <laughs> but let's see what it reveals. Okay, see? Crystal right here. Pretty blue one. A blue-gray. These are crystals. Look at this one. It's got this dark area with just a ribbon of... Oh, what would I say? Like a whitish or colorless color? Colorless color, that's a... Uh, oh, okay. See, now look at these. See how it... See the stripes on there? So at first glance you could think striations, but really what I think is going on is that these are stacked. And so those marks are where they can pack together. I'm not totally sure. I actually have not begun testing these. Um, I've only gotten through the phase of um, cleaning them up, the ones that I took home. So we'll do this together, but pretty cool stuff. And then right here, we got, oh, oh God, that's too heavy to even pick up. So the last one, I knew there was selenite. It appeared maybe celestine or blue fluorite, smoky quartz quartz. So let's see what else we can find. Okay, so I was moving a weed and I found some interesting stuff. So this is like the kind of rock I'm seeing here. We'll take that back and test it with vinegar. Um, and then, so... And then you see like some sandstone. Well, that could just be shale covered in sand. And then look at this. Okay. So this I bet will clean up really nicely. See, if this were just water, maybe I'll switch it out. <laughs> it would be more effective. I think this is soap and water <laughs> for cleaning them, so. Maybe I'll get real water before I do this again. And then there's this one. Look, the other side's interesting. Almost like, like chert or something, so the mystery continues. All right, check this out. So this one is almost like, when you look on this side, it almost looks like it could be mineralized wood, right? Permineralized wood which is something that occurs at Manifest Ranch. Um, it's really heavy. Uh, fossils are always gonna be heavier, for the most part, um, than uh, rock of its similar mineralogy and size. And this one is really, really heavy, whereas some of those clusters I took before um, were not. So that indicates that we're dealing with a fossil, perhaps, perhaps it is petrified wood in here. This one's extremely heavy. This one is extremely heavy too. This one, I mean, it's kind of heavy. 
not as heavy, but no, nah, it's pretty heavy actually. I don't know if the other one seemed less heavy because it was so wet and muddy, which is a hot tip after a good rain or snow melt. That's a great time to go rock hounding because things you could normally not take out of the ground will pop right out like this. I can't get this out today, but I bet I could have on that day, you know. And then here's a ridge of crystals here that's really compacted in there. All right. I'm taking some back to clean up. These are too compacted in the earth to get. Let's see what's up here. All right, so headed up there, I found this. Look, you can definitely see the blue-gray color and sort of the shapes and outlines of crystals in this one. So I'm gonna to toss that one up here with my other finds. Okay, and then this one. So I'm picking up some rocks in the area, you know, for geological association. So knowing what kind of rocks are in the area, knowing the geology can really, really help us refine our list of potential suspects for our crystals based upon associations. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So these, I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet this whitish coating. Oh yeah, there's crystals, see? Whoa. I bet the whitish coating, let's look at this one right here is what was making me think of it right here. It looks calcareous, but I bet it's not. Is calcareous even a word? <laughs> Definitely some crystals in this one. Then I saw this one as I was tossing my samples up the side of the ditch. Whoa, that's pretty, huh? Kind of interesting. That'll be fun to look at. Whoa, check this out. Look at that. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, so I pulled this one out. Looks like we have crystals, and this could be a fossil as well. Yeah, so this is an interesting one. All right, let's see kind of what kind of rocks we got here, huh? This one's kind of interesting. Pick this guy up. It's heavy, it's really heavy. This looks like kind of one of those basalt ones. Maybe sandstone? So similar story here. What do you think this is? Geologists and rock hounds and armchair geologists. What do you think this is? It's super heavy. Super heavy. It almost looks like this could be some sort of metallic or submetallic mineral. I definitely think there's metal in there in some form, whether it's a sulfide which would probably be the case because it's heavy or some kind of interesting fossil what say you okay so then i wanted to kind of show you what i thought was the shale but look at this look at this holy crap look at this. this is all crystals you guys i don't know if you can see it with the sun here's a small one okay i'm going to try to pull them out and i'll show you without the glare unbelievable so i came over here to show you guys the shale and look Here's another one, completely crystallized. I'm gonna have to get Steve on that. Yeah, I was just gonna show you this rock here. And I got that mammoth cluster out of the ground. So I just said there's like a lot of different mineralogy, crystals, geology, and oh, limonite. I was not kidding. I was not kidding. It, uh, it's like it manifested something more, which tends to happen in these parts. It's a pretty magical place, I tell you. All right, you're not gonna believe this. You've got to see this. So this is what I found in the hillside just while I was <laughs> gonna show you shale. Unbelievable, right? Whoa, this is gonna be so fun to look at, clean up. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta keep following this bad boy. And so this broke off while I was 
getting it out. So we'll have some smaller pieces to play with. Okay, super hot tip. I mean, it's almost imperative as a rock hound. If you want to identify your specimens, always try to get some smaller pieces that you can, you know, do some of the quasi or destructive testing on, you know, whether it be acid or a hardness streak. So that's what we'll use these for. Oh, and I just saw this little one here. Look. Oh, can you see that brown crystal? Wow. Perfectly square. Huh. Fluorite? Oh, this is going to be so fun. All right. We're going to put these bad boys under the microscope. We're going to clean them. I'm going to show you the easy, inexpensive DIY ways to identify your specimens. We'll go all through that. We'll use fluorescence. We will, um, I'll show you how to clean them um, cheaply, easily. And uh, we'll get under the microscope and just go through the whole process. We'll incorporate MindAt and the other online tools that once you have your properties nailed down, then you can enter them into an algorithm and it will spit out the most likely minerals. So it helps, you know, narrow it down and go over the properties as we go along. I'm very excited about these. So you should be too. Definitely do not forget to hit subscribe so you get notifications on the next um you know, videos in this series. This is going to be one that you don't want to miss. Um, I'm promising that right now. So definitely subscribe, like, share. Uh, sharing is caring and help me uh, hopefully uh, have the ability to really kind of upgrade my tools, my set, my camera, and, and do something a little, a little better for you guys. Okay, that just caught the tail end of it. There were like 12 of them. I kid you not. Whoa. Oh, that scared me to death. Running across the road. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. I think Dixie chased him. Better go find her and find Tater. <laughs>